welcome back to the channel and this build project. I am in the middle of installing the dash for the third time. It's in three different sections, so I want to get it back in the car. Then if I'm happy with it and there's nothing else I need to do underneath the dash, I can get it installed. This is definitely a different look from the flop. It's more of an Alcantara. In this light, it really picks up the direction of the brush. The overall consistency is much better, so I'm happy with that. I'm just in the process of figuring out the exhaust. It's not ideal filming in this light, so I haven't picked up the camera much. I need to weld this U section to the one end of the back box. Yeah, it's pretty awkward. This is what I've come up with. I've tacked it all together in situ. Now I just need to weld the tap. So with the exhaust welded together, you can just about see it hanging in place. It still needs to go up about an inch. The next task is to figure out exactly how I'm going to hang it at the back of the car. I have a factory hanger there, but it doesn't sit directly above this tube. So I need to come up with something to hold the weight. Also, I need something to stop it going side to side. I have just tacked this exhaust hanger just to check the height of the exhaust when it's hung under its own weight. It is actually at the desired height now, and there is not a lot of lateral movement. So what I can do with this mount, when I take the exhaust back off the car, I can gusset it and reinforce it a bit. Then I'm thinking of putting a band around this area and then somehow mount it from the chassis on a rubber. Then that should prevent even more lateral movement. The lowest point of the exhaust is this section at the back. It's very hard to see, but it's at equal height to the silencer further up the system. I'm making two hangers for the back box. The first one, I've made a simple bracket, which I've fixed to the angle piece that runs across the bottom of the radiator housing. And I have found this rubber mount which I will attach to the bracket, then a band will go around the exhaust tube. So this is the second hanger that I'm wearing on the top of the back box.
have all the hangers in place. The nut just needs to be done up. This hanger is as it was before with the added support. I have made a band to go around the exhaust section here, but this mount and boss is in place, ready to bolt the band on. Now I'm happy with the layout of the complete exhaust system. I can take all of the sections back off, give them a good clean up, make sure all the edges are nice and smooth, and then it's ready to go on for the final time. For initial suspension setup, I have decided to buy some cheap adjustable coilovers. We have adjustable camber on the front two and a 24 way damper adjustment on all four. These should allow me a better opportunity to set up the ride height and then once we get the car dialed in I can look into getting some better coilovers. I now have enough parts to start building the turbo up on the engine so the first thing I need to do is make the water line that comes up from the engine block into the side of the housing. I have these two barbed banjo fittings for the water line. All I need to do is fit 8mm IV hose. Then I have the banjo bolts and washers to suit. By making my own lines, I can actually offset the angle of the banjos, which best suits the setup. I want a 45 degree twist from the bottom banjo to the top. I can check the clearances on the hose clamp as well, just to make sure it's not catching anywhere. I forgot to order the oil drain gasket, so I can't get the turbo bolters on yet. The next job I'm going to do is mark the intercooler pipes up so I can get them welded together. Once that is done, then I can bolt them to the car. get some more bits in the car. I'm going to put the seat rails in next. I will not install the side mounts until I don't have to get back in the car to do various jobs. At least I know where the fuel and the water lines are going to run. In regards to the seat rails, I have just put some conduit in the main part of the wiring loom. That runs through the center. I need to order some for the positive and then the various wires that come from the dashboard. I have the silicon hose to finish off the top radiator hose modification. this adapter installed it has improved clearance around the belt we have run into the issue of it hitting the intercooler mount this hose cannot be touching this metal mount so I think it's a job worthwhile cutting this off and extending the mount and pushing the mount towards the left giving this hose plenty of clearance A lick of paint and that would be right as rain. This is a perfect demonstration of how little room I really have at the front of this car. By making the radiator hose modification, the hose has come forward to the front of the car slightly. I've just modified the intercooler mount to clear the pipe. Now the front grille can't go far enough on. 
I can afford to trim the end off this 90 degree just to bring the hose far enough back to clear the front grill. We can make that work. Next, I need to clean the inside of the power steering reservoir. I will also try and improve the routing of the pipes. I now have the oil drain gasket for the turbo, so I can make some progress to get the turbo back on the car. The water pipe that I made up that comes out the engine block looks to be in about the right place. So next I'll get that bolted on. Next I'll fit the oil feed line. the turbocharger finally bolted to the engine. I am waiting for one more adapter so I can fit the rigid water pipe to that outlet. The oil feed is finally in place. That just about clears the mount that's added to the up pipe. It was a very time consuming job to get this turbo mounted in the right place and to allow adequate clearance between the subframe and the up pipe. As always, thank you for watching. If you have any questions about the build, leave them in the comments section below. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you very soon.